guys, this is Melo Kilo. I'm here to talk to you about the law of attraction. Now, this is my theory on what I think the law of attraction is. And right here I have on this piece of paper right here, I have um, my four, my personal four laws of what the attraction is, the law of attraction is. So number one is we are all magnets and we are all connected. And what I mean by that is like, let's say, for example, you're thinking about, let's say you're thinking about someone and then they just happen to text you or call you like five to 10 minutes after you were just thinking about them or you just run into them out of nowhere in public. Like, I know that's happened to y'all. And then I don't think it's a coincidence. I think that we're all connected and, you know, things like that be happening for a reason. So that's what I mean when I say we are all magnet magnets and we are all connected Number two is I am what I say, I am what I think, and I am how I act. So therefore, if I speak negative, then I will attract negative law of attraction. I will attract negative things because I'm saying negative things. I will attract negative things because I'm thinking negative things. And negative things will happen to me because the way I'm acting, I'm acting negative. So if I tend to speak positive, like positivity, in abundance, that's what's going to happen to me. That's what's going to be coming back to me. So whatever I put into the world, whatever I produce into this world, that's what's going to come back to me. If I produce negativity, if I'm robbing people, killing people, stabbing people, shooting people, most likely that's going to happen to me or somebody I love, you know? So it's very important to pay attention to the way you carry yourself and what you say and what you think, because it can come back to you in that way. Number three is I understand that it matters how I feel and how my energy comes off. So an example of that is let's say I'm going to work or yeah, let's say I'm going to work and I feel kind of drowsy and like hungry and I'm not in the mood for nothing. So if I go to work like that, people are going to notice that and they're going to be like, mm, what's wrong with him? Or they're going to be like, you good, bro? Because, you know, I didn't really eat anything today. Or I didn't, uh, you know, I just, I'm just not feeling it. I'm having a bad day. And then I go to work like that, with that same energy, that same feeling inside of me. And people can feel it. People can feel it when you're not yourself. So always pay attention to um, how you're coming off to, to people and how your energy is. Because they can feel it. They can definitely feel it. We're all connected. And that relates to number one again, how we are all magnets and we're all connected. And my last one is number four. I understand that I am a magnet. I can attract anything I want or desire. And I am not a chaser of anything in this material world. So I understand that I am a magnet and whatever comes to me, I attracted it somehow. And with that being said, I will never chase anything. I don't care if it's money. I don't care if it's the the opposite sex. I don't care if it's... Uh, a car, I, anything materialistic, I don't chase it because if it's meant to come in my life, it will in some shape or form. Things always happen when they're supposed to. Everything happens for a reason. So never be a chaser. Always be a magnet and always attract. Don't ever be a chaser. So that concludes this video when it comes to the law of attraction. I think that um, the main thing that causes people to not get what they want is the way they think and the way they feel so when it comes to like like money like a lot of people want money but they don't know how to get it because they're always in a negative mindset they're always thinking negative and they're always gonna say oh i can't make that much a month i can't make a hundred thousand a month i can't make you know i can't accomplish that stuff and when you say i can't i can't i can't the the universe pretty much hears you talking and when you keep saying that, like the spiritual realm always hears you saying, oh, he can't do this and that. All right, we'll just make sure he definitely can't do it by <laughs> not letting him get these blessings, you know. So you're basically blocking your own blessings when you talk negative like that. So it's very important to uh, stay positive and always speak positive, you know, speak positivity in your life. But um, with that being said, stay positive, guys, and always speak whatever you want into life always speak life not death of the tongue the tongue is very powerful i will make a video about that soon too so stay positive stay up
keep vibrating high and always uh, keep yourself happy, whether it's by listening to certain music that you like or, you know, playing basketball or going on a bike ride, whatever you guys like to do. Always try to remain in a positive vibration and you will see like things will just start to go the way you always wanted to go because you're always in that positive energy. So just stay positive.